Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos or announce giveaways. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I'm very excited to share the October Globe In box with you. Yes, October. I'm actually still waiting on my September box. They have had some crazy shipping delays because of the global situation, but also because they recently moved into another warehouse. But in recent months, they've been a little bit better about communicating to their subscribers, explaining those delays, and it sounds like they're slowly but surely starting to get all of the kinks worked out. So I do believe that moving forward, it will be a little bit better and a little bit more on time. Now, if you're not familiar with Globe In, it is a fantastic subscription company where you get fair trade items items from around the world. You can shop in their artisan shop, but you actually get a great deal if you do their subscription because they create these artisan bundles that are $40 per month plus $10 in shipping. Obviously, if you do a little bit of a longer subscription, then you are going to save a little bit of money. I also have a code for you. It's Hi Noel. I'll leave a link and that code in the description box below, and that will save you 50% on your first box if you do a three month or longer subscription. And often there's other perks if you do a longer subscription, like getting to select your artisan bundle for that month a little bit earlier than other subscribers. Now, every month at the beginning of the month, you have like 15 days essentially to choose what bundles you want. And there's usually like 10 to 15 different themes to choose from. Sometimes they'll have ones from past months. Sometimes they're rolling out several new ones. It's really exciting, really fun. They do all kinds of spoiler videos so you can get really excited about which ones you want to get your hands on. I always love that process. And then from the 1st to the 10th of the month, you can actually shop from their artisan shop as well and do add-ons. And obviously you're getting good deals in that way. In fact, I had a bundle once that I got where the tagine itself, if I bought it on its own in, in the artisan shop, it was $40. But then I also was able to get it as a bundle as part of my monthly subscription. And that was only $40. Actually, it was a little bit less because I had a longer subscription. And then I got a bunch of other items with it so it's definitely worth your while or worth your money to go ahead and subscribe so that you can get these nicely curated little bundles so let's go ahead and see what we got it has been a while but I believe that I got the braise box so it comes in a nice big box, usually lots of packing inside. Of course, I went ahead and kind of opened things up. Now there has been a change since the last box I got. It looks like we just get a little card that tells us about the theme. And then there's actually a QR code. We used to get a nice little booklet. I guess they're being a little bit more green, a little more eco-friendly. I'm not sure that I like the change. I kind of liked having this beautiful, colorful pamphlet telling me the artisan stories about each of the items, but I also understand the reason behind it. So I am going to go ahead and pull that up on my phone so that I can read a little bit about the items to you. So this is indeed the Braze box and it says, Dear Mavens, because that's what subscribers of Globin are called. Are you ready for the season of full bellies and home cooked meals? To me, there's nothing better than an after meal feeling of satisfaction and happiness. There's no better than autumn to cozy up to some comfort food and enjoy an elegant dinner with close family and friends. Of course, this was the October box. Uh, this cycle we have curated boxes full of handmade comfort, food, bakeware for your feasts and fancies to prep and enjoy at any lovely dinner party festivity. Tis the season for sharing yummy, rich, and warm cuisine cuisine set in a stylish worldly dinnerware landscape. So bake a casserole for your neighbor and give the dish right along with it. Whether you intend this set for your home or another, we hope that you enjoy it. And that's from Angela. There's a little like spacing issue here. So sometimes the words were kind of running into one another. Um, but yes, there were several different themes for the month of October that I was excited to get. And that's always really fun when you don't know what's going to be left necessarily. And then you just have to decide. And sometimes you can actually in the add on sale, you can actually add on whole artisan boxes. So that's really nice as well. If you can't quite decide, you can pick one for your theme for that month, and then you can maybe add on another theme, another selection. They also have the option where you can redeem. So if you find that there's none out of those 10 to 15 boxes that you're like dying to have 
for your own home, then you can actually redeem and use that credit to purchase something from the add-on sale or from the artisan shop. So I think that's like a really great option as well. And you can kind of like let that roll over if you want to. All right. So let's see what we've got. I got like, there's a big box in here, which I think is like the main kind of hero item. I'm going to go ahead and open up the item. I'm a little bit worried about. It sounds like there might've been some breakage. Now I have received damaged items from Globe Inn before and their customer service has always been really, really great. I know sometimes they'll be able to send you a replacement if they don't have it in stock. Sometimes they just give you a partial refund. I'm a little bit sad though, because I've been having some trouble with shipping just throughout the holidays. A lot of things have been coming not so well packaged. So we've got this nice, you can kind of see it. There's a glass blue bowl, but I actually think there's two. And like I said, you can kind of hear there's some breakage in there. So, um, I think so. Yeah, there is. So the problem is, is they had it wrapped in bubble wrap, but they just had the bowls nested in one another. So I'm happy to say it does not look like the outer bowl got cracked, but the inner one didn't really have a, like a layer of bubble wrap in between. So <laughs> I can see you right through the bottom. And then the in here in this bigger bowl, it's just shards and splinters of glass. So I have to be really careful with that. But of course I will clean out that smaller bowl, get rid of it and show you the bigger bowl which I think is just a gorgeous gorgeous color when I post photos over on Instagram and I'll also keep you updated how how quickly I hear back from customer service I know they are swamped right now so I feel like the turnaround time is actually like a good week which is a little disappointing but I'm sure that they will eventually get back to me and make it right so let's read a little bit about these beautiful glass bowls I'm so sad that smaller one because it was like so so cute and it was such a cute set so these are small glass prep bowls and it says they're from Morocco. Your tea glass starts its long journey to you as recycled glass collected throughout Morocco. Le Verre Beldi in Marrakesh is the last artisanal hand-blown glass workshop in Morocco. Here, this traditional art form has been revived with sustainable methods. Every day, two tons of glass waste are collected and remelted in an oven heated to around 1600 degrees Celsius. Artisans then use a combination of blowing methods and iron molds to form each glass, which is finally put in an annealing oven for three hours and then it tells you a little bit about one of the artists, Labid Mohammed, which is so cool. He is a proud father who lives in Marrakesh with his family. He's been working with glass since 1986 and got his start in the famous Sova Maroc glass factory in Casablanca. When the factory closed, he moved to Marrakesh and started working for Le Verre Beldi. So it goes on to tell you a little bit more and I love that little story that they give you. It really adds to the experience of getting these boxes. So I do hope that they are able to replace the small bowl for me. But even I'm just really grateful that the outer bowl came intact because I do love glass art um, and I kind of love how you can kind of see there's even some bubbles in the glass. It's not like super perfect um, and I think that just adds to the charm of it. So I love having little bowls and little plates and sort of mismatched sets. So I do hope they can replace it, but I'm very glad that the bigger bowl is intact. So let's go ahead and see. I think I felt something else around here. kind of have it like precariously balancing on like a little table. So I got something else that's kind of hefty and uh, wrapped up and I'm not sure exactly what it is. Oh, so sometimes they do include like a food item in uh, the boxes and this is from Casablanca Market. So it's some Moroccan harissa, which is of like, you know, a pepper sauce, which is really fun just to accent different meals. If you like a little bit of heat, it's not like crazy spicy in my personal opinion. So that's a nice size jar. I wonder if there was some jostling happening. Although, like I said, the outer bowl was totally fine. So um, I, I I don't know exactly what happened with the packing with that. So I keep looking at the card instead of my phone. Let me look again on my phone and read a little bit about this lovely Harissa. So let's see. It says this is from, or the artist that's featured here is Katya Esyad. Katya Esyad is the founder of Casablanca Market, the women employed entrepreneur of your new Moroccan Harissa. Her Moroccan Harissa recipe was inspired from her childhood memories of putting Harissa on freshly baked French baguettes. That sounds 
sounds amazing. Its intention and result was a new flavor dimension for the American palate that simply makes food taste better. To preserve the authenticity and quality of the traditional flavors, sourcing and production are based in Morocco. Katya doesn't do this all alone, of course. She works with 200 women in Morocco who make the products using her recipes. That is so, so cool. Again, I love having harissa like, as a little dipping sauce or just even putting it on like, like on a creamy pasta or in like a creamy soup or stew. It just adds that little extra bit of kick. And um, I'm sure I can look up some other recipes and find out different ways to use it. If you guys have any suggestions for how you like to use your harissa, uh, let me know in the comments below. And then I think we have like the star of the show left to go, which is the reason that I chose this braise box. So I am really excited because I did see that some of the other boxes that I didn't get to select for October have been making a reappearance recently in the artisan shop um, and I might be able to get my hands on one. So uh, this nice brown box seems pretty, pretty good. There's like corrugated cardboard wrapping everything. So here is the lid. Maybe you guys can get an idea of what I've got. It is some hefty gorgeous speckled ceramic that is so so lovely it almost looks like a candle holder right I guess you could almost probably use it that way if you wanted to you could just put like a taper candle in there so let me uh, dive in here and get the rest of this beautiful item out it is a little bit hefty so hopefully I can do it all right but the nice thing about it is because it is so hefty, it's nice and sturdy too. So because it was in that box, I think it had a pretty good shot of making it in one piece. This is so gorgeous. Look at this crock pot, you guys. I love these little rounded handles. It doesn't really have any feet on the bottom, but you can see the stoneware. But just this glaze, you guys, is just so like earthy and beautiful and simple. I love the color. It's going to go in like any home. Like this would totally fit in like a country country themed kitchen, a more modern kitchen. So it fits in there pretty good, nice and heavy, like I said. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it down so that I don't drop it on my toe, which would be terrible. And then I'm gonna pull it up here and see what it has to say about this gorgeous, I'm not sure exactly what we call it actually. So this is, oh, they're calling it a small ceramic Dutch oven with speckled shell, okay. So it says, uh, the artist that's featured is Shiva Prajapati, is the artisan behind the thoughtfully crafted small ceramic Dutch oven. You can feel the love and intention molded into the Dutch oven from the molded handles to its high rising sides, making it perfect the perfect dish for stews, soups, and bread. From start to finish, the Dutch oven is created on the wheel from high quality clay, then left to dry in the sun for several hours. Then it is bisque fired in 850 degree heat to keep its shape without cracking. After that, the glaze is applied and then it is glaze flired to seal the deal. Shiva Prajapati is the owner of the particular artisan group that helped craft the Dutch oven under Sana Hastakala. Therefore, he guarantees each piece is crafted with skill and technique. Not only is he the owner of the artisan group, he is also on the Sana Hastakala board. One feature that is noticed by those he works with is that he is always smiling, no matter how difficult the situation. So the other great thing, you guys, is they always include a little bit more information or the mavens in the Facebook group will announce it in terms of like uses. So I don't think this is a Dutch oven that you could use like on the stovetop to like reheat things. I think it's more like baking in the oven, but um, considering the heat that it underwent to be created, I'm pretty sure it's going to work in your regular uh, convection ovens. So I'm definitely excited about it. Like I said, I think um, I'm very excited to try some like harissa in my beautiful dipping bowl as well. And hopefully I get that replacement, but I'm just trying to think of what I want to make in this. Like I said, it's pretty heavy. It would just be so pretty as like a serving dish too if you made like a casserole right you can like make it all like brown and and crackly on the top or just a beautiful stew but maybe you drizzle some of that harissa in there so I'm really excited about this and I like that it's small because that's like the perfect size for me and my kitchen because I'm not doing like big family meals so this would also be good for you if you do have a bigger family for like maybe one of your side dishes but it does feel like a great quality product and again I love hearing all of the artisan stories behind it so let me know what you guys thought about this braise box from Globin maybe it's a box that they will offer again I hope they do because it is so lovely it'd be great actually to have a pair of these again for serving purposes if you guys enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing